Tesla have just revealed that they have finished building a very interesting tunnel underneath the factory, their vehicle factory in Texas, Giga Texas. And they've revealed why they built this tunnel. It's not just a vanity project from Elon Musk. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Really interesting tunnel that Tesla have been working on here for a while now. I've reported on this in the past, guys, but this so-called cyber tunnel apparently will actually speed up production of Tesla's Cybertruck at the factory. Now, Tesla have hit, we believe, a production of about 1,000 Cybertrucks per week, which puts them on track to build, what, 52,000 per year. But 52,000 per year when you've got more than 2 million pre-orders is, well, it's nowhere near enough. So Tesla know that they need to ramp production very, very quickly. In fact, they know that, um, well, Tesla have said themselves, they will build five times as many Cybertrucks per year next year than what they do this year. So they're saying they're gonna go from 50,000 or 52,000 Cybertrucks produced this year to 250,000 next year. So how do they do that? Well, with cyber tunnels, I guess. Well, not really, but this is obviously part of the equation. The boring company has announced its latest tunnel boring machine called Proof Rock 3 has completed its work at Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas. The tunnel, which is called Cyber Tunnel, will be operational within, uh, I believe, about six weeks. The company shared the news on X saying this, Proof Rock 3 has emerged in the Tesla Giga Texas expansion. Cyber Tunnel will be online in July. Wes Morrell, Cybertruck lead engineer and director of engineering, reliability, test and analysis at Tesla, mentioned the benefits of this new tunnel in a series of posts on X. Kind of intriguing to see what Tesla are actually going to use this tunnel for. A lot of people have been wondering this for a long time. What is this tunnel Tesla are digging? He said this, directly connecting from the end of the Cybertruck manufacturing line to the logistics lot will help reduce traffic on site and improve quality. Since it's effectively a giant pipe, maybe we should switch from measuring UPH units per hour to mass flow rate. Now, he was asked if um, the Cybertrucks would be able to self-drive through the tunnel, and he said this is part of the plan. He elaborated on how the tunnel will improve the overall quality of Cybertruck production. He said this, there is nearly constant construction happening at G GFTX, which is Gigafactory Texas. The tunnel will bypass all those dirty areas and also reduce the number of touch points, opportunities for something to get damaged. The new cyber tunnel is set to streamline logistics and reduce the impact of ongoing construction at the Gigafactory, enhancing the efficiency and quality of Tesla's operations. Now guys, if I'm totally honest with you, I am a little bit skeptical as to whether or not this tunnel was um, really gonna make that much of a difference to Tesla's Cybertruck production capacity. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Uh, I kind of have my doubts. You guys know I love the Cybertruck, but I'm not really sure about this. <laughs> I think it's possibly more of a marketing tool for the boring company to sell their tunnels and to sell their, you know, the kind of um, what their capacity is, capability is to potentially other companies. Now, in general, that may or, no, may or may not be true. Maybe this will be revolutionary. And I do agree with Elon Musk's comments. I mean, you know, people think we need flying cars. They think the future of cars is flying cars. And Xpeng have been working on their own flying cars. So have other companies. I can see why that wouldn't make sense because they'd all need to be connected to each other, not to smash into each other. And that's why obviously Elon Musk thinks tunnels are a better solution because you can't crash into someone in a tunnel. I mean, you can hit the back of them, but that's pretty pretty unlikely in comparison to smashing into someone in the sky. So I think tunnels are a good solution to traffic management. But does Tesla's factory need traffic management? Maybe, I don't know. Last year, Tesla follower Steve Hamel16 suggested a tunnel by the boring company at Giga Texas to easily bring cars exiting the factory to a finished car lot on the other side of highways outside the factory. Um, is that what this is? I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, maybe some of you are following this project more than I am and you know the details and you can understand what's really going on here because obviously Tesla haven't really revealed the full extent of this tunnel's capacity. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.